just in Commonwealth Bay, just in front of the ice edge. We managed to get a safe harbour and we're just going to try a gravity core for the Holocene sediment in the upper beach or so. Okay, we've retrieved the gravity core up and now we're back inside the Schakowsky in the wet lab where we do all the sort of dirtier parts of the science. Here we've got the gravity core barrel. Now this is a stainless steel barrel because the, the plastic ones weren't uh, strong enough to, to drop from a long distance above the seabed. So we used a stainless steel barrel and dropped it from about 10 metres above the seabed, which meant we got a lot of penetration into the ocean sediments. The barrel itself is uh, empty up here, but full down here. And we've got about 45, 50 centimetres of very, very fine sediment. This, this sediment rains out from the sea ice, so there's very little actual sedimentation rate, sedimentation here. So it means that we've probably got several thousand years just in that 45 centimetres. Now what we're going to do is extrude the sediment through the barrel. So we're starting off with the oldest sediment at the bottom, and gradually we'll get to younger, younger sediment to those of today up here. So now we're starting extruding the core. So each time we take approximately 0.5 a centimetre, like that, 5 millimetres. Take our sharp edge, cut down through it. Bang it. Now we take several cores in each location and some of them we freeze but this core is going to go straight for dating so we can work out exactly how much time we actually have taken in this core. Obviously we expect to see changes as we go through the core so we'll do lots of different, use lots of different techniques to, to study how the temperature of the oceans changed, how the salinity has changed but also how the sedimentation rate has changed and that will reflect changes in the sea ice covering the ocean in this area.